later, in the parlour, Alice is thinking about what she's heard. So the, so the old king's head is 500 years old. What does that actually mean? Oh, wow. Let me put that into some context for you. Um, so you've got me, um, Grandma, and Grandma Daisy. You're also your great-grandma. Yeah. So we were all born in the 20th century, so 19-something. Um, so if you think about it, that's 100 years of history. So you've got my story, that's grandma's story. Three generations. Three generations of family in 100 years. So my story, grandma's story, and great grandma's story. So you've got the war covered and things like that, and you know the different stories associated with, with the family. Um, so yeah, if you look at 500 years, that's, that's so, yeah, five times that. So 15 generations of people all in this house. All in this house, all with their own stories and a different period of history. Um, so yeah, wow. if you start, yeah, That's I think incredible. about that, the stories that this building could tell, if the walls could talk. Gosh, it's incredible. It's incredible, yeah. So what superstitions are attached to this house? Oh, it could be many things. With that history of 500 years, um, back in the past they used to do things like um, bury cats in walls, as protect so, so basically it was a protective thing, so you built your house and they believed some of the meanings for what people did have been lost in time as you can imagine, so you might have them bury cats in walls or you might have them bury shoes, but often by doorways or fireplaces, Why Place that? places where bad spirits might get in. So you to put protection and obviously you've seen throughout the building that there's lots of old beams. So sometimes you'd have marks made on the beams. So again there were witch marks, so protective marks um, would be marked on the building. Um, so yeah, and, and these superstitions sort of pass down with time and the meanings change. But as you can imagine I do things like I won't walk under a ladder yeah. to this day and you're like why why would why what's that about but actually i probably don't know it's just a feeling attached or there's bad luck attached to walking under a ladder so over 500 years of history here all sorts of things crop, crop up and and you'll find strange things in the walls and, wow. and and strange things around or marks and yeah so we don't necessarily know what they mean we presume that they're which marks protective marks we sort of have to guess a little bit but some superstitions you'll do to this day and you'll go and they'll go right back through time and then pass down families or stories so yeah part of the story of the building gosh that's cool actually alice associated with this house hanging in the loft are some witch bottles so they'd have been put there to scare away witches um do you want to go and see them yeah okay we'll go and have a look was keen to investigate. What would she see?